I'll combine the two of y'all to shoot nine of 12 on threes tonight. You want to tell them? You want me to tell them? Our nickname. All three. One, two, three. Splash Bros. <laughs> <laughs> I guess what what was working for y'all to to get those ma that many looks from deep and 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 also just to just to knock them down. Um, I would say you know um, just being comfortable out there. I feel like they didn't really force me to do anything, and I just felt like I had the right looks, and um, we prepared for those looks, and I just had to knock them down. Yeah, uh, kind of what he said. You know, uh, those are looks we get all the time in practice. You know, uh, they were kind of giving us a little bit of space, so uh, it was in that point where you shoot it or you kind of pass it and it's kind of like awkward because you're open but you're not really open but you know once we see the first one go in you know we got that confidence and we got our coaches and teammates confidence so just going to the hot hand you know uh, and just making plays to help win the game you know, maybe it might not be nine threes for the two of you guys every game but you know to see how much you guys have been making more threes this season how have you seen kind of defenses change how they guard you or how the floor is space because you guys have proven that you can make threes consistently? Um, I would say I feel like teams in some way still sag off me sometimes. But I'm the, I mean, I just, I'm just shooting the ball to make it. So <laughs> that's all I can say, really. I guess for either of y'all, I know y'all wanted to speed up the pace that, that South Carolina plays with. Y'all were able to do that with turnovers. I guess what was sort of the game plan for that and how well do you think you executed that on defense? Uh, you know, they're a very good defensive team, and uh, their half-court defense is really good. So uh, we knew uh, we got in transition that that could be one of their weaknesses because uh, their set defense is so good. You know, they give up 65 points a game. Uh, we kind of knew that, so we kind of just wanted to push it a little bit and get uh, open, quicker shots. Uh, Janai, teams have consistently allowed you to shoot the three, and you, you're shooting it at a pretty high clip. Is, does it shock you a little bit that they just keep giving you that shot? Nah. Uh, you know, teams still, you know, uh, rather me be on the perimeter than the post, you know, so uh, them giving me a little space is probably, you know, what the scout is, make me shoot it. But, I mean, I got the confidence to keep shooting, you know, and it pay off tonight. For both of you guys, you had a chance tonight to take on the number one team in the SEC. Now you got Kentucky coming in on Saturday. What do you? How do you get ready for those types of games and embrace it when you've got some of the biggest names coming here? Um, I would say we just we get prepared for each game like each team like it's the same game. You know, um, learn their scouts, learn their plays, what they like to do, what players like to drive left, or whatever. But um, I mean, we're gonna figure out tomorrow what they like to do. We got an idea. I mean, I've watched TV, watched them a little bit, but. We we start planning tomorrow. The team's on a 16-game win streak. I think the uh, streak actually started a year ago against Missouri. So, just name some of the reasons that you've been so successful at home. Uh, I mean, the jungle is the jungle. You know, <laughs> top. I think it's the best home court advantage in the country. You know what I'm saying? Um, when you got people and students willing to camp out you know, and watch you guys and watch us play, uh, that gives us confidence, you know, knowing that they've been waiting for us to, you know, to come out and play well. So, you know, we have to reward them in a way. You know, we can't come out here and go to bed, you know what I'm saying, and let, let them down, I guess. So we come out and play for each other and the fans. A uh, question for Janai. Uh, you and Dylan are out there doing the seatbelt celebration there after you guys are getting defensive stops. How much pride do y'all take on that side of the of the ball, and how important um, was it to kind of to to have those plays, especially to knowing that what kind of energy you get here at home? Uh, you know, it's a uh, definitely a, a energizer. Uh, you know, it it gets you going, it gets the fans going, it gets the crowd going. But you know, it's also something that we do just because you know making defense fun. You know. Uh, Making plays is fun at the end of the day. You know, uh, blocking shots, getting steals is fun, you know, especially it's helping our team win. And, then, you know, not too many people scoring us down low. Uh, guards are big. So um, we just have to make it, have a little fun with it. And uh, that's pretty much it. Hey, Janai, the Ken Palm analytics site that a lot of coaches read into have you as two or three as the player of the year for that site. Um, what is it like to be acknowledged as one of the top players in the country? And what is it about this system that allows you to thrive? Uh, 
I mean, that's amazing to hear. Uh, you know, but I just give credit to my teammates, you know, my coaches for, like you said, the system, you know, allowing me to make plays and put me in position to exceed, you know, and excel. Uh, I feel like as long as we keep winning, you know, everybody shines brighter. You know, uh, look at Jay Will, the run he's been on. You know, uh, he's been shooting the ball incredible. You know, his his numbers are skyrocketing. The last 10 games, we've been all over win streak. So uh, I feel like as long as we keep winning, everybody's going to keep going. Jay, when you guys were up by 22 at the half, and <coughs> South Carolina has a team that comes back, and y'all had earlier in the year, you know, some, some trouble in the second half, and then you beat them by 18 in the second half. What was the key to just staying locked in and having a f second half just as good as, as y'all's first yeah. half? I'm not going to lie. I expected them to, um, you know, I mean, they did come out second half scoring and things like that. I thought they were going to, you know, bring within like the 12 to 14 range, you know, um, keep it closer. But, you know, um, we stuck together. The game plan, we had our same game plan we had in the first half. We just had to get back to it, and then we just ended up getting more stops than they did. So. For both of you, but primarily for Jalen, last three years, college game days come in here the last three years, three times now. You get Kentucky on Saturday. Jalen, in your time here, I guess, how have you seen the program grow? Janai, even in your short time here, how have you seen it grow into the national brand that it is? Yeah, I mean, I feel like because when I was, you know, about 30 years ago, when I was in high school, uh, that team went to the Final Four. So I knew from that moment on, like, they were going to have eyes on them. So my freshman year, like, I feel like I was kind of, like, introduced to, like, the bright light, if that make any sense. Like, um, there wasn't no time where, like, Auburn was just, like, down for me when we were here. So, I mean, my sophomore year, but uh, we're not going to talk about that. But other than that, I feel like we were pretty good and well, for, like, for the most part, most of those years. So, yeah. Uh, you know, I played against Auburn last or two years ago, and uh, they got us pretty good. Uh, you know, but that's what they had Jabari and Walker, you know, two NBA players. Um, shout out to those guys, but you know, I see how those guys fit the system, and uh, basically, you know, how coach got me here was he showed me the blueprints of them, Tumo, JT, all the guys before me, J. Will, you know, uh, how they thrive in the system. So I feel like that was a good opportunity for me to come in here and play that same system and play the role. And, uh, you know, it's working well for me and the team. One more. <clears throat> Jay, well, you had Doc Goodlett and Clark out there. And you were down pretty hard. It, you, you were good? I mean, obviously, you came to yeah, the game. Yeah, I lost the contact. Man. No, he made free throws after that. He good. <laughs> he made two free throws. I will get checked tomorrow, though, no. just to make sure you eyes. Got to see. All right, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.